Sup? So this is the Pulsar X Lite V2. I would say this is my endgame mouse and that my search for the mice of all time is over. But as they say, there is no perfect mouse. For $79.99 United American dollars and weighing only around 59 grams, it is a very competitive lightweight wireless gaming mouse. The mouse is solid. It does not include the rubber grips you see in some of the B-rolls, but I personally suggest getting them separately. The holes on the front side get covered so your thumb doesn't feel too awkward. I really enjoy using this mouse. The ergo shape is almost, but no cigar, like the G703. The clicks are great, but I've seen people dislike the mouse 4 and 5 buttons. I like them a lot actually. For battery life, mine lasts around 4-5 to five days. The software doesn't report it accurately as I've seen it go from 80% down to 20% when the mouse starts blinking red to indicate low battery. I still prefer the shape of the poundage ergo, but I've noticed that if my hand gets too comfortable with a grip, that's when I start losing my shots. I've been landing the shots I want with this mouse. Build quality is great, there is no creaking whatsoever, as I said, just a solid piece of tech. Though this was written like two months ago, and I may have jinxed myself. Because now, a few weeks ago, the top shell started creaking, especially the left mouse button. So whenever I hold it, it would produce a grinding slash creaking noise. And it gets annoying when I play like Company of Heroes, any RTS games or like selecting clips on a timeline. Yeah, minor issue, but definitely noticeable and annoying. Now, do I recommend this mouse? For sure. I personally have not encountered Pulsar's customer service but I've heard other gamers having some shaky experiences with them. That's all I gotta say really. Maybe next time I'll try the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste and the Death Editor V3 Pro. Alright guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.